Okay, so I'm in Marvelous Designer here, and I'm going to create this uh, circular piece of fabric here for this character. It's just a still character, it doesn't move or anything. And then I'm just going to rotate it, move it into position over her head. Um, this is just tweaking, doing stuff. I just scaled it up a little bit. I skipped over that. And then I'm going to run the simulation real quick, which Marvelous Designer is real nice because you can do it pretty fast. Uh, you can see what your simulation is going to be. And uh, after I do that, I'm going to change the particle density down to 14, which just makes it a little bit more accurate. It gives more details. And I'm going to turn on the wind, so it gives a little bit of blowing to the uh, cloth. And then I'm going to try and run the simulation here and record it. So I'm going to hit the record button, and I sped this part up because it kind of takes a little bit of time. So um, this part takes a minute or two, and it's about 300 frames. So I'm just going to let it run through that real quick. And then when that's done, I am going to prepare it. I will scrub through first just to kind of make sure it all looks OK. And then I'm going to actually select it and then uh, prepare it for export. So I'm going to go to the UV editor there and then I just fit it to the one of one uh, the one of one square for the UVs and then I'm just going to uh, export and then I'm export as an alembic and I'll find where I need to export to tutorials cloth UE just call it whatever you want and then right here I always choose thick I don't know why thick is good I guess I don't know uh, and then Everything else is the same, just hit OK. And then this actually takes a while to export, but I sped this part up also. So I'm going to open up Unreal. This is the latest version of Unreal Engine. So I'm going to bring in the FBX of the character. Just drag that in, and then up at the top, Skeletal Mesh is what you want to check. And leave everything else the same, and Import All. This just takes a second. The FBX only takes a sec, few minutes. You can just ignore that warning window there. And then I'll drag, drag her out there, zero out the location. I think uh, I'll just change the lighting here just a little too. Now I'm going to bring in the Alembic. And then this one actually takes a little bit longer. Um, so I'm going to speed this part up again as well. But you want to make sure import type is geometry cache. You want to make sure that that's selected. And then I change the hard edge angled from 0.9 down to 0.1, which just softens the edges. So we'll just change that to 0.1 and then after we got those two things I sped this part up so we'll just bring that in here real quick. See how that looks. Should should work pretty well. Probably could have skipped over this part. Oops. Alright. Uh, we're gonna create a new sequence because you have to have a sequence in order for your Alembic to play, your cloth. I'm just going to drag this window over here. This is your sequence window. I'm going to dock that to the side. And then I'm going to drag that Alembic straight up into the sequencer right here. So then, boom, there it appears right out on the scene. I'm going to drag that out. That little plus sign, you're going to click that. You're going to go to Geometry Cache. And now that's loaded your animation. And if you remember, it's about 300 plus you know 300 and a couple frames long so what I always do is it's always too fast so I go to properties and I reduce the play rate so that essentially slows it down and that also gives you more frames so now you're at 600 frames a little over 600 I think and I don't want to see that character underneath so I'll just turn off that eyeball check mock check box um, actually I'm just gonna delete it I don't even need her all you see is her feet anyway so um, so I'm going to pull this out so you can see a little bit better. Um, and then I'm going to add a couple frames here. So I don't know, like 800 maybe. And then kind of scrub through. We're going to set the end of the play range right there. So you click that little red icon down at the bottom. And that sets your play range. And we'll just play it and just kind of see how it feels now. Just kind of move around here, see if it's looking okay. You know, we're going to delete a bunch of this stuff out of here. We don't even need any of these things in the scene just for what we're doing. So it's dark right now, but we'll just add a rectangular 
Aerialite, make it movable. Um, and then we're just gonna position it where we think it looks good. It's just kind of whatever, you know, again, this is where the art direction comes in, like whatever you want. And so what's nice, what's nice about Unreal is you can basically do all this real time. So I'm just gonna add a quick fabric texture to my cloth character here. And I just use, this is pretty much what I use for all of the red cloaked figures. Um, so we're gonna add that into the scene. Just drag that on straight on there and it kind of looks funky. So I actually flip the normals in the normal map. All right, uncheck them actually, I uncheck them because they come in default checked. And then I'm going to reduce the normal strength to about half. And I'm going to increase the tiling so it's not so big. It's a little smaller. The fabric uh, bumps and stuff are a little smaller. So it's looking pretty sweet. Um, this is attenuation radius. It's just kind of adjusts how much like light spreads out. And I'm going to add a exponential height fog now. And what that's going to do is that's going to really give us a nice tone and nice ambience to our scene. So I'm going to increase the fog density to 0.1. That's what I must always do. And we're going to click on volumetric fog. And so it's kind of blue and we don't want that. So go to build, build lighting only. And this just takes a second. And this kind of gives that more moody fog and light look to your scene. And this will get rid of that blue look also. I'll just wait for that for a second. And there we go. And so we're going to actually tweak some of these settings. So the ex the extinction scale, we're going to pull that to two. And then on the light, you can actually increase the fog, the amount of fog that the light puts out as well. Um, and we'll do that here in a second. Right now, we're just going to adjust the light. And so there's no God rays right now, right? There's nothing coming through there. So there's actually a checkbox that we need to turn on under the uh, advanced tab, the first advanced tab under your light. So we're just going to increase the volume of the light, the advanced tab, cast volumetric shadow. And as soon as you turn that on, you see those God rays, like those shadows from your uh, objects now are appearing, which is... Uh, you know usually what you want um, it's off by default so you always have to check those on and now we kind of have that look and I'm just gonna adjust the play rate a little more maybe slow it down even more for kind of a more dramatic flow and uh, yeah that's pretty much it really that's kind of how I get my my cloaked figures into my scenes so uh, yeah 